Here we are, folks. The Tabasco plant. We're on Avery Island. I mean, you people out there are crazy about spicy food. Crazy about Tabasco. Well, you in luck today because we two in the Tabasco plant. Join us. Shout y'all. There's some interesting history of the island. You can pause and read. So the cool thing about this is uh, saying this island is on a salt dome, so it's a lot of natural rock salt. <laughs> Some of the earlier bottles there. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool here, the well over a MRE. Even tattoo from Fantasy Island like his Tabasco sauce. Okay, our next stop is in the Tabasco greenhouse. Let's check it out. It is warm in this place. There's the actual Tabasco peppers they use there. You got jalapenos and habaneros and everything. And these habaneros down the end. Whatever they are, I think the habaneros look <laughs> like it. Hmm. So use that stick there to see when they're right. That's, that's pretty cool, I didn't know that. Now we're entering the Barrel Museum. Barrels smell kind of like whiskey, huh? Hi, I'm Trendell. I'm a Barrel Cooper and Mac and Henry Tobacco Company. Um, what I have here is a white oak barrels. They come with iron cast iron rings. We have to change every ring to a Standing steel 316 ring. Mm. 
Go ahead and give you a garlic flavor you like. Let me show these people. They give you these, uh, when you come in here, they give you samples of uh, miniature flavors. It's a pretty cool, a bag again. full of them. I carried one of these around in my purse for a few years. Well, yeah, you gotta have your Tabasco with you. They say the salt is from this island. A lot of it. There's the process. Mm. I typically don't like doing museums, but this one's a super cool one, so we're gonna do it because the glass and glare and all. Picking the peppers, adding the salt to the peppers, being ground. Pepper mash. Cooping the barrels, topping the barrel with salt. Barrels in the barrel warehouse. So he finally gets blended and bottled. It's pretty cool. Now this I've never seen before, Tabasco wood chips. Hmm, did not know they did that. Wow, this is the barrel warehouse. We're getting aged. It does have a smell, peculiar smell to it. Sure, what the salt do you? I don't know how to describe the smell. What do you what do you describe the smell as, Mr. Shoe? Sure? So all them barrels are full of mash that will be blended with vinegar and salt and turned into Tabasco. to the Blinden area. So up here, we in the Blinden room. You've seen from some of my videos, I use a big emulsion blender when I'm making 40 gallons or something, but this here takes it to a whole nother level. That's a gigantic emulsion blender. It's hard to see through the glass, but that's a pretty cool uh, diorama here. Kind of shows you the outlay of the island. This is a giant piece of rock salt. This in my the hand there. So this island's on a salt dome. Oh, that's cool in here. They're showing how they mine the salt. salt. 
Imagine so, it's in right here. Sterling, I die so. Why is it all salt here? Yep. Now we're in the bottling line. Let's see what it looks like. There it is. It's your bottle of Tabasco coming up. Be in a store near you soon. I was looking for Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> I guess we could. If you see as the lines go back, there's different sizes. That's the bigger bottle in the middle there. These are like the normal size bottle. Smaller bottles in the back. There's the empty bottles coming in. What happens if it happens? Over well, here's where they get the lid. <laughs> here's where they get the plastic pot. And then the shaker pot. And here's the uh, actual red cap. Move on down the line, you see this where they get the labels. Somebody inspecting all the bottles. Oh wow, look how many bottles are made just in one day. I find it absolutely incredible how many bottles are being made. It just blows my mind. Over there, it's hard to see because of the glare, but that's what they get put in the cartons. The big one, I guess those are small ones. Yeah, you got big ones up here. Uh, normal size, really big bottles, small bottles, and then the miniature bottles in the back. This here is pretty cool. It shows all the different languages. <laughs> Put the Tabasco in. Never even thought about that. Yeah. So this map here shows all the countries that Tabasco go to. Almost the entire world. Wow. So the shows here next to American chefs, cooks, and consumers, those in Japan, Canada, Germany, Hong Kong, England, Mexico, France, and Guam buy the largest amounts of Tabasco. Crazy Bolognese. Crazy Bolognese. So there's some brands and things in here I didn't know existed. I didn't know they had Tabasco E1. Spicy ketchup. But the thing I'm most interested in is right here. This, these uh, soy sauces. No idea they made soy sauces. Super cool. Okay. I want to thank you for joining me for part one of this Avery Island adventure. Stay tuned for part two. Where we go eat and go to the store and check out the gardens. We'll see you next time.